architecture accumulator accumulator is an 8 bit register it holds one of the data to be processed by arithmetic logic unit or alu it also stores the result of the operation the accumulator is also called as a register the accumulator is connected to the 8 bit internal data bus the bidirectional arrow between the accumulator and the bus indicates that it allows the accumulator to send or receive data the two state output of the accumulator drives the alu temporary register the temporary register receives one of the data to be processed by alu from external memory or general purpose registers the other input for the alu comes from the temporary register this 8 bit register stores the operands of arithmetic logic operations general purpose registers in intel 8085 microprocessor there are 6 8 bit general purpose registers they are b c d e h and l they may be used individually or combined as register pairs to perform some 16 bit operations the permitted combinations of register pairs are b c d e and h l the h l registers pair which is normally used to form a 16 bit memory pointer stack pointer or sp stack pointer is a 16 bit register used as a memory pointer it maintains the address of the last byte entered into the stack stack is a portion of ram the stack pointer is decremented each time when data is loaded into the stack and is incremented when data is retrieved from the stack program counter or pc this 16 bit register deals with sequencing the execution of instructions this register is also a memory pointer the microprocessor uses this register to sequence the execution of the instructions the function of the program counter is to point the address of the next instruction to be executed at the end of the execution of an instruction the program counter is incremented by 1 pointing to the next memory location where the next instruction is available incrementer decrementer it can add one or subtract one from the contents of the stack pointer or program counter arithmetic and logic unit alu the alu carries out the arithmetic and logic operations on 8 bit words as shown the contents of the accumulator and the temporary register are the inputs to the alu it can perform arithmetic operations such as addition subtraction and logical operations such as and or and xor the alu result is then stored back in the accumulator flags flag register is a group of 5 individual flip flops The content of the flag register will change 0 or 1 after the execution of arithmetic and logic operations. Instruction register and decoder. Instruction register and decoder is an 8 bit register. When an instruction is fetched from memory, it is loaded in the instruction register. The instruction decoder decodes the contents of the instruction register. It also determines the operation to be followed in executing the entire instruction and directs the timing and control unit accordingly. Timing and control unit. The timing and control section of microprocessor includes an oscillator and controller sequencer. The oscillator generates the two phase clock signals, CLK and CLK bar that synchronize all registers. The controller sequencer also produces the control signals needed for internal and external control. The controller sequencer is microprogrammed. It has a ROM that stores all the micro routines needed for executing the instructions. Interrupt control. Sometimes it is necessary to interrupt the execution of the main program to answer a request from an I/O device. For instance, 
an I.O. device may send an interrupt signal to the interrupt control unit to indicate that data is ready for input. The computer temporarily stops the execution of main program, inputs the data and then returns to the main program. Serial I.O. Control Sometimes, I.O. devices work with serial data rather than parallel. The serial input data enters 8085 through pin 5, SID, serial input data, and leaves through pin 4, SOD, serial output data. Two new instructions, known as SIM and RIM, allows us to perform the serial parallel conversion needed for serial I.O. devices. Address Buffer and Address Data Buffer The contents of the stack pointer or program counter can be loaded into the address buffer and address data buffer. The output of these buffers then drives the external address bus and address data bus. Memory and I.O. chips are connected to these buses. In this way, the CPU can send the address of desired data to the memory or I.O. chips.